Let's say you have your SmartThings home monitor set up to automatically activate the arm stay mode during the nighttime hours while you and your family are sleeping. Let's also assume that your security siren is set up to activate if your home is breached during the arm stay mode. Let's also assume that a family member must depart from your home during the early morning hours, prior to the time when the SmartThings app is set to disarm your home. Finally, let's assume that the family member must depart from your home at different times each morning, so that a single automation, which is set up to disarm your home at an exact time, would not be useful. This is the exact situation that I encountered when I recently installed a SmartThings security system in a client's home. My client wanted to avoid the need to open the SmartThings app each morning to disarm and then rearm his security every time he departed his home. He simply wanted to push a button that would disarm his home for a short period so that he could exit the door without triggering his alarm. He also wanted his home system to automatically rearm after he departed so that the arm stay mode would be activated and his sleeping family would be protected. In a few minutes, I'll show you a live demonstration of this automation, which I created using SmartThings devices and a Sharp Tools rule. This automation is triggered by the press of a switch. It's a simple automation that temporarily disarms the SmartThings home monitor for a period of one minute. It allowed my client to exit his door without triggering the alarm. Once the minute expires, the system is automatically rearmed so that the siren will activate if any door is breached. Stay tuned to see how this is done. My guess is that many of you know that the SmartThings Home Monitor allows you to use various sensors in connection with home security. The app can monitor your home for fire, smoke, and water leaks. The app also gives you the ability to create numerous automations and scenes for detecting and reporting these important events. I have set up my SmartThings Home Monitor to use three different modes, the Armed Away, Arm Stay, and Disarm. I use the home monitor to activate my dome siren if our house is breached. The siren will sound during the arm stay mode while we are sleeping or during the armed away mode while everyone is away from our home. I have also created three virtual switches which share the same mode names as the SmartThings home monitor. These virtual mode switches are necessary so that the SmartThings mode changes can be viewed and or changed in third-party apps, such as the Sharp Tools app. If you have interest in seeing how these shareable mode switches are set up, just drop me a comment in the description below. And if I get enough interest, I will create a video that shows the details for creating these switches. As previously stated, I had installed a SmartThings button in my client's home. The button was pressed to start the routine that I'm about to demonstrate. However, because I do not have a SmartThings button, I'm going to use a virtual momentary switch to trigger this routine. The virtual momentary switch functions just like the SmartThings push button. If you have interest in setting up this virtual momentary switch, you may watch my video titled How to Create a Virtual Momentary Switch, which details how to set up a press button type switch. I'll leave a link above so that you can access that video. As I stated previously, my client departs for work at different times during the early morning hours. Since his alarm would be triggered if he forgot to disarm his home monitor, he wanted me to create an automation that would be triggered by the press of a button. I attempted to write this routine in the SmartThings app by using both automations and scenes. I was able to set up the routine, however, it required that I use two virtual switches, two automations, and one SmartThings scene. Since this setup was somewhat awkward and messy, I decided to try to recreate the automation in Sharp Tools. I was able to set up the entire automation by creating one simple rule. This setup enabled my client to push his SmartThings button and exit his home without fear of triggering his security alarm. Before I demonstrate this routine, let me first describe the hardware components that I used in the setup of my client's home. My client had a total of four exterior doors. I placed a multi-purpose sensor on each door. 
Then I installed an Echolink Z-Wave Plus security siren, which I was able to easily pair to their SmartThings third generation hub. I had intended to install the dome siren, but it was unavailable when I did the installation. Finally, I installed one third generation Echo Dot in order to give their smart home a voice. Now for my home demonstration, I'll be using a SmartThings multi-purpose sensor, also known as a door contact sensor. I'll also be using a dome alarm as my security siren. And as a substitute for the SmartThings button, which is currently unavailable, I'll be using a virtual momentary switch. During the following demonstration, you're gonna hear my dome siren make a chime sound when I open my exterior door. I'll leave a link above if you're interested in that automation routine. And because I have a motion sensor on my porch, my activity is going to trigger a notification on my Echo Voice Assistant. It'll announce that my motion was detected on the front porch. A link will be provided above for that automation video as well. And finally, since my porch lights are connected to my GE Inwall Z-Wave Smart Dimmer Switch, the porch lights are going to be turned on by the routine as well. You guessed it, you may click on the link above if you're interested in that automation video. By the way, if you haven't heard, SmartThings has stopped producing hardware and the former SmartThings hubs and SmartThings devices are getting scarce. Not to worry, SmartThings has partnered with AOTech and AOTech will be making hubs and devices which look and perform like the former SmartThings devices. Although AOTech has yet to roll out these SmartThings devices, you can go to aotech.com forward slash SmartThings and sign up for product release information. You can also receive 10% off with a uh, AOTech discount code. Now let me show you this automation in action. Following the demonstration, I'll provide you with instructions how to set up the automation rule in the Sharp Tools app. Okay, allow me to demonstrate what this routine does. Uh, so here we are at my front door. You'll notice up at the top of the door is a multi-purpose sensor or otherwise known as contact sensor. I also have a motion sensor out on the porch. When I open the door, you're gonna hear the door chime ring. That's done with the dome siren, the same siren I use to activate uh, a siren if, if the house is breached. In addition, you're gonna hear my Amazon voice assistant announce that there's motion detected on the porch. And finally, because I'm in the armed away mode, you're going to hear the dome siren go off, which is rather loud, so I'll warn you in advance. So anytime in the evening I have a routine that automatically sets the SmartThings home monitor to arm stay. So when it's in arm stay mode, uh, it arms the house so that if any door is breached, the alarm goes off. So we're currently in arm stay mode. I'm not going to press the start exit timer. This is a momentary virtual switch that acts like a press button. Now in my client home, when I set up this routine, I use the smart things button, which as you know, is a push button and I have that mounted right next to his door. So he simply presses that button before he exits. That gives him one minute to exit without triggering the alarm. In my case, I'm going to just simply press this start exit timer, virtual momentary switch to start the routine. But before I demonstrate how the start exit timer switch function works, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it unpressed in arm stay mode and show you what happens whenever the door is breached during the arm stay mode. Let's try it and see what happens. Okay, let's go ahead and dismiss that alarm. Okay, the alarm is dismissed. The other thing I failed to mention is that whenever our house is breached during the arm stay mode, uh, what also happens is a lot of lights come on. So uh, that includes my bedroom lamps, uh, uh, living room lamps, the kitchen light, 
bathroom lights, um, and the porch light. You probably saw the porch light come on and it's still on. So I need to go ahead and turn the porch light off before I demonstrate the exit timer routine. And uh, I'll do that by asking our uh, Amazon voice assistant to shut off the porch lights. Porch lights off. Okay, all right, we're still in the arm stay mode. We're gonna try that routine again. This time I will press the exit timer switch, which is again a virtual momentary switch that simulates the push button that would normally be next to the door. So when I hit that exit timer switch, you're gonna see a couple things happen. Uh, you'll see the porch light come on. I have the porch light to come on. Also, there's a light to the left of me, which is out of our field of view that will come on. That'll be my indication that it's safe to exit the door. Uh, you'll still hear the door chime. You'll also hear the notification on the voice assistant indicating that there's motion detected on the porch. What you should not hear this time is the dome alarm siren going off. Uh, so we'll try that and see. And something else, when I press this virtual momentary switch, you should see the mode change to disarm. And at the same time, you should see that light come on in the uh, out on the porch. Also, you should see a notice that pops up that says, that tells me that it's safe to exit on the phone. So let's go ahead and hit that switch and see what happens. There's the switch, change to disarm, there's the porch light, and there's the notice that it's safe to exit. So let's go ahead and open the door and see what happens. There's the chime. There has been motion detected on the front porch. The voice assistant, but no alarm, as you can see. So I can safely exit and get out, and I have a whole minute to do so. So we'll go ahead and close this door. And I'll come back. And then, by the way, what happens as well is that when the exit timer is up, you will see the mode change from disarm back to arm stay. And you should also see a notification that uh, the house has been safely armed to the arm stay mode. So that should be coming up here pretty soon. And uh, we can watch that. Also, you will see, uh, I think I mentioned this, that the porch light will go off. There's a lamp that will also go off. All right, so we got something screwy going on here. All right, so home secured in the arm stay mode message popped up there. And it is back in the arm stay and something kind of jittery there happened, but it is back in the arm stay mode. So the house is secured. As you can see, the porch light is also off there. So we're, if I would open the door right now, that would again trigger the alarm. So a convenient way uh, to set up this routine so that you can exit the home at night during the arm stay mode without triggering the alarm. Let's get into the sharp tools rule and I'll show you how I set this up. Okay, now let's see how to create the automation in Sharp Tools. By the way, if you have not set up the Sharp Tools app, you are really missing out on a great SmartThings companion application. There is a setup video above if you're interested in learning more about the Sharp Tools app. The Sharp Tools app is a free web based app which allows you to create automation dashboards as well as unlimited automation rules. As mentioned previously, it was much easier to set up this particular automation in Sharp Tools. This is primarily due to the large number of automation functions which are required by this sort of automation routine. These diverse functions are available in the Sharp Tools rule engine. Now allow me to show you the rule. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the rule engine here. And the rule that we're going to look at is the one minute exit timer switch. So we'll go into that one simply by hitting edit so that we can see this. So I call this rule one minute exit timer switch and in the description I put exit during arm stay mode without triggering the alarm and then rearm home after one minute. So the trigger to get this going, normally it would be the smart things button that we would call in here. But since again, I didn't have the smart things button I used this exit timer switch. So if we go in here and edit, basically I would either select the SmartThings button here as the device 
but since I didn't have a smart things button you can see at the bottom here I selected that exit timer switch that's the virtual switch that I created it's a virtual momentary switch when that switch changes to on that's the trigger for this routine so let's go ahead and hit update okay let's scroll down here all right next we have two conditions that must be met before this routine runs the first condition is that it must be between 11 p.m. in the evening and 5.30 a.m. during the day. So that's the only time that I want this, uh, this routine to operate. The second condition is that the system or the SmartThings app has to be into the arm stay mode. Now here is that virtual switch that I was referring to earlier um, that I can do a video on if there's interest but I basically made three virtual switches and when the arm stay turns on the other two switches are turned off and that change is reflected in the SmartThings home monitor. So any change in the monitor will change these switches and any change in these switches will impact the SmartThings home monitor. So uh, the condition is that if the arm stay switch is on and the current time is between 11.30 p.m. and 5.30 a.m., then execute the following routine. Let's look at the routine. That first thing we wanna do is disarm the home by changing this virtual disarm switch to the disarm mode. When that is turned on, it, it changes the mode in the SmartThings app, as you've seen, to disarm. The next thing is a message that goes to my mobile phone saying that it is safe to exit. Okay, And the third thing that happens is the porch light are turned on. That's the signal to me to go ahead and exit. Uh, I did not add yet the lamp in the living room, but you can add several lights as a signal that it's okay to exit. Okay, once those three actions are done, then it's a matter of delaying for 60 seconds. So this is my 60 second timer that allows me to go ahead and safely exit while the home monitor is in disarm mode. After the 60 seconds is expired, then we wanna change the mode back to arm stay and I do that with the arm stay switch. Again, remember when this arm stay switch comes on, the other modes are turned off and it's also that status is reflected in the SmartThings home monitor. So the home monitor is changed to arm stay. There's a message that comes to verify that the home is secured in the arm stay mode and then the porch lights are turned off indicating to me from the outside that the uh, system is set back to the arm stay mode and it's secured so that my family will be safe. We'll hit that save button. Okay, that's all there is to this. We can go back to the home screen here and uh, we're done with the routine. Fairly simple, straightforward routine. A lot more complicated within the SmartThings app. Now I trust you enjoyed this automation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Until the next episode, Keep automating and God bless.